Here's another quick related rate example. A right cylindrical tank is filled with water. The tank stands upright and has a radius of 20 centimeters. How fast does the water, the height of the water in the tank drop when the water is being drained? Okay, so we start with the, uh, the drawing. The radius is 20. rates. Well, we know dv dt, right? The rate at which the volume is changing is 25, and because it's draining, it's negative 25 cubic centimeters per minute. We're looking for how the height is changing. Now, one thing that makes a cylindrical problem different than a, a cone problem is that the, uh, uh, in this case, dr dt is zero because the radius of the water you know if the, as the water drains out um, the radius of the water is always going to be 20 it's just the height that's going to decrease so what that can do for us is kind of nice you know our original equation of course is volume equals pi r squared h but we can rewrite this as pi multiplied by 20 squared H because the radius isn't changing. If the radius was changing, we'd have to do product rule, but it's not. Okay, so we can just say that volume is equal to 400 pi H. So the derivative, derivative of V is dV dt, 400 pi dH dt, Substitute and solve, so negative 25 equals 400 pi dh dt. Divide both sides by 400 pi. So dh dt is negative 1 over 16 pi centimeters per second.